Sup, 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 I'm Ryu for the Euro Council. Welcome to another Ritual Sworn Duel video. And this time, we are going against two Dragon Rulers and one Entermite deck. If you've never seen an Entermite deck played, it is hilarious. Now, I do want to mention, I'm going to be doing three of these at a time because I have Subscriber Showcase that still has to come out and 20 other things I'm still doing. So, this is the best of both worlds. Instead of just giving you one duel, you get three duels. So that way, you get your little, like, tidbit of... Duelist. This is not my side, this is this side. I just want to make quick mention, I do have a deck profile with this featured, and I'm going to have a pure build without it featured. But I will advise you don't play it in Dragon Ruler Lights Warren. I'm just going to advise that. Now, uh, for those of you who did not watch yesterday's video with this, I will leave it in the description. If I don't uh, leave it in the description or the comments, it should be the comments then make sure to let me know in the comments, say, Ryu, you didn't add in, you know, the deck profile and dual videos. Um, can you, you know, link it in? And I will do that for you immediately. Thank you. Just for pointing that out. So, instant thoughts into this hand. I have instant set up. I just have to be very careful not to screw it up because this is a deck that you do have to think. Oh my god, you have to think with Light's Horn. That's pretty much what, like, five of you are saying right now. Like, holy shit, you have to think. Solar Recharge. Get into it! And now that this is set up, for those of you who don't know, um, you ritual summon it with this, and then the ritual spell card, if the monster would be destroyed, you banish it out of the graveyard. These two are DJ monsters. These were released, well, this one was released a while ago. Um, I believe it was Absolute Power Force, so it's quite a few years ago. And when you ritual summon a monster, you can remove this play from your graveyard as one of the, uh, one of the Require requirements for the monster summon, and it goes for both. Of the, all the degens have this effect. If you've ever seen a relinquished deck, then you know this. Um, basically, when while the uh, yeah, while the ritual monsters face up, your opponent cannot special summon when you use this. This one says while it's face up, your opponent cannot target it. No book of moon, no 101, no special summoning, no dragon rulers, no JD, no outs to this. If you run Dark Hole, that's cool. I have I have the Ritual card to banish out for the turn. Just saying. It is a motherfucker to get around. I'm not going to lie. And if you guys truly, I guess, are playing it online constantly, I will try to find a way to counter it and show you how to counter it. Because it is a pain in the ass to get around. And it's got those three effects that... Uh, sorry about the the burp there. It's something I can't control with the stomach disease. Um, anyway, there I go. I'm going to go into another one. It, it, this gets retarded. And now I can go into a Lights Were an Arc Michael. Again, he can't, like, both of these will have him locked down. He cannot special summon, but I can special summon all I want. So it's kind of fucked up. I'm going to get rid of the Lights Were Sanctuary because it will protect his Lights Warns at some point and I don't want to deal with that. I just want to OTK my Bud X off. I probably could have but, again, it's kind of just to show you how the mills are. And just to give you an idea of what you can do. I ripped... Um, just point out, too. I ripped the JD out of his hand because of one of the effects. You only get one of the effects on one of them. You can't get it on both of them. If you get it on both of them, I'd be tearing this guy's hands apart. And I'm not trying to insult you to the guy who was playing. I am just saying that I probably would have done that. But there is the first game. Let's go straight into the second one. Another Lights One Dragon Ruler. And, honestly, this is... <clears throat> From Sunday night into Monday morning, around like if you look if you make the screen bigger, you'll see it's 2:43 on the on the clock, and that's why that she is. This is also to show you what basically a turn one play will look if you don't have both DJs and you only have this one or the other one. You can pretty much protect it, so can't be targeted. And skill prisoner ain't got none on it. Lots of lights were dragon rulers though, and I I think it's cool that everyone's like playing it. Because, see, I'm not going to be one of those people that goes, oh my god, I have to go against 40 Lights Warrants. I think it's cool everyone's playing it, because then everyone can relate to each other, I guess. In my book, that's how I see Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, it, you know, it makes for a nice little environment, everyone talks about the community. But honestly, if we were a little more chill with each other, that's a nice skill prisoner right there. That skill prisoner, great tech. But honestly, if we were a little nicer to each other on uh, the yu gi 2 community, I think things would be a little bit easier for everyone. See, I didn't have the special summon, so he was able to bring out Rainbow Karibo. So at this point, yeah, freaking JD is still a threat, and I have to push as fast as I can. But he's got really no plays to make, or he doesn't, you know, he just drops in the game. That's going to be that. 
This was one that I thought was really cool. I do have to mention, um, before everyone goes, what the fuck? Dev Pro just updated with it, and these are placeholders. Um, I probably won't remember to put any images, but I can link you to the images. But you can read the effects right there. So, you know, just pause the video. I'm just going to go over them, give you a sec to pause, and you can read through the effects if you want to really read through them. But, um... <laughs> I, when I saw it, I was speechless. I'm like, what the hell is this? I'm like, what am I playing against? But I got to drop my monster and then go into basically second setup. Now, I just want to touch upon one thing here. The reason I did not grab this out of the graveyard is the same reason I always mention. I, a, I didn't want to overextend. B, I wanted this in my hand. And C, because I wanted that stay in the graveyard for the time being. Some people may think it's a bad, but... It worked out for me, so enough said. He's going to summon, I have to actually read it here, Entiment Warrior Tiger. And when it destroys his opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can add one Pendulum Monster that is Entomite from your deck to your hand. You don't want to use the effect of the Tiger once per turn, and he is an effect monster with 1700 sack tack. So, he gets that Silver Claw, he's going to set the MST, and at this point, I'm still pretty nifty right now. I'm on Cloud9, not going to lie, I'm really on Cloud9 every time I drop this monster. Pretty much when you drop this, not even... I, okay, against Shed Dolts, it's probably going to be like the toughest matchup, and Satella Knights. Um, a lot, like a lot of the Duelist Alliance stuff, if it's just the Duelist Alliance decks battling each other, it's pretty much going to be a best of who draws better and who plays it out better. And I think that's actually something that's pretty cool. And I kind of wish all the decks were that way. But Konami, man, Konami. There we go. Uh, again, is the third effect. He's going to send an Entermite and attack into my Lila. And this one, again, is the same Silver Wolf as before. At least I believe it. Oh, no. Is it? No, okay, it's not. Go figure. Marie's losing his mind because they can't see him. Kind of a cool replay to look back at one day. Just go, I don't know what the hell happened, but it happened. I'm just going to get rid of the MST attack in for the damage and he can actually banish it so it wouldn't get destroyed that's pretty cool um i kind of wish they you know were a little bit better not that way i'm gonna snatch at jd i just want to point out even at times i could summon jd i usually don't um just for the sheer fact of not being stupid but more just trying to challenge myself to not go oh, i could drop jd be a good player and this is what I'm talking about here. I can actually go uh, into Leviera, bring this back, and go to 101. And just, you know, have 101 on board, I guess, would be a thing. I actually do that in one of the other freaking duel videos. I don't remember which one. But uh, here comes Delilah into that mill. And I'm going to discard a card from his hand. Because I want to just clean up the game, you know. Just clean up the game state. He drops this. And this thing's actually pretty cool because it drops all my attack. And that just made me sad, honestly. It was like, okay, that kind of sucks. Now I'm going to have to drop JD, and I didn't really want to drop JD. He's like, can't play this at this point. It's pretty much dead, because everything else is dead out of the deck. I'm going to Lila that, going to JD, nuke, protect. Typical typical Sunday, you know? Typical Sunday in the Avalon house. <laughs> but that's going to be the game, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you check out the deck in case you missed it yesterday. And uh, all the dual videos will be going up first. And next time we'll be doing Gusto's Hands, Heroes, and then Light Sworn. Uh, the triple ritual drop, which was, oh my god, it was so entertaining. And then th basically the final dual videos, the final first batch. If you guys want more, you have to let me know. And I just want to point out, I do have the blue eyes stuff. It's like right up there. Um, I've, I, I jump back between this and Subscriber Showcase. But I, I just spend like my whole Sunday getting all these for you. Went through about 200 games just to get all this stuff, but it's, it was worth it. Love you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. Comment, rate, subscribe for more. We'll have the Lights Horn decks tomorrow or today. I'm not fully sure. You guys will be the first to know. Uh, we'll do the opening, and then after the opening, the day the day after will be the Dragon Rule Lights Horn, and the day after that will be Lights Horn Pure. And we'll just keep going from there. And basically, I'll be doing that with a bunch of decks where I just give you bunch of content for a little while but um if again in case you missed it coffee time had the announcement of the new schedule lineup and you should go check that out too
But if you enjoyed the video and you really thought it was really cool, share it and let's get this deck out there. And I want to see you guys playing it. I really do. I, I want to figure out how the hell do we counter this because it's amazing. I'll catch you guys next video. Thanks for watching. I'm ready for your counsel. Peace.